This is In My Mailbox, hosted by the Story Siren. Um, this is week five, I believe. Um, I got quite a few books this week, and I'm very excited to show you because each time I got a book, I just became more happier and happier. And um, I think I got too many books this week because I'm not going to be able to read them all very fast because I have a million other books to read also. But we'll see. So the first one I got is actually, I just got this a few hours ago. I got Queen of the Dead by Stacey Cade. Um, this is the second book in the Ghost and the Goth series. Um, this is by Princess Bookie's Arc Tour. So uh, I've been excited to read this ever since I finished the first one, like a year ago. This one just came out. In fact, it's just out already. Just came out yesterday or sometime this month. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure on that one. And then I bought a box of books off of Princess Bookie a little while ago. And the box just came this week. So I got The Rights and Wrongs of Janice Wells by Joanna Pearson. And if you saw last week's video, you'll know that I already got this book from Scholastic. Um, so I'll probably be doing a giveaway of this one. This book doesn't come out until July. So hopefully I can do that giveaway soon before this book comes out. And I also got Captivate by Carrie Jones. This is book two in the Need series. And I gave this book away last month. And so I'll probably be doing it again with the same book, this one with the last book I just showed you. So I'll do a giveaway with those two books sometime soon. Then I went to Barnes & Noble and I bought one book. Just one. I had enough willpower to not stare and stalk all the other books creepily. And I just went in there, worked for the book that I needed, and got out. Because I don't want to be broke. Which I am. So it's beside the point. So uh, I bought a copy of Wither by Lauren Di Stefano, and I've been waiting a long time to read this one, and it just came out, and before before I bought it, I checked to see if any of the libraries had got a copy, but fortun unfortunately, they didn't, so then I went out immediately and bought this, and then a couple days later, I went to my library, and on the shelf was a copy of Living, but it's okay, because now I have my own copy, and I'm very happy. So then, still going on about the box of books, I got Cut by Patricia McCormick, and by the cover of the book, and by the title of the book. You probably know what this is about, so I'm thinking that this is going to be a very emotional read, but it's very small, so it'll be a pretty quick read, too. And then I got Dreams of the Dead by Thomas Randall, and this is book one in the series. Um, this book came out sometime in 2009, so I'm sure the second book's out too. Um, I didn't really recognize this book before until I realized that my library had a copy of this, only it was a very, very different cover. And this one's just super creepy. I mean, look at this. You can't see the girl's face, and she's all covered in dirt. I like the other cover better. It's not as creepy, but I can't wait to read it. Then I got um, a copy of Everlast, Everlost, sorry, Everlost by Neil Schusterman, and this is book one in the Skinjacker trilogy. And um, second one is probably out, and the third one either is coming out near the end of this year or is out already. I'm not positive on that, but um, a bunch of bloggers have reviewed this book and loved it, so I'm hoping that I like it as much as everyone says it is. And then I got A Royal Match by Tyno Cannell, and I'm pretty sure I just said the whole name wrong. But this has two books in it. It has Fooling Princes and Stealing Princes, and since it's two books, it, it's pretty thick. So this, I cannot wait to read, because it's kind of like, first of all, I want to move to London. And it's kind of um, it's set in London. It's about uh, this English girl. She goes to school in London or England. I think it's pretty much the same thing. Anyways. 
but um, apparently she comes in contact with the prince and they both fall in love with each other and the parents aren't too happy because she's an English girl. She doesn't want her son marrying an English girl apparently. But uh, I'm very, very excited to start this. Then I got The Water Wars by Cameron Stratcher. And this is um, about, apparently they don't really have any fresh water, which if this ever happened in real life, I would be dead. <laughs> because that's dr water is all I drink. And so basically it says, a world where water is more precious than gold or oil. That's a big deal. So apparently um, this boy, these two um, kids find a boy who has limitless fresh water supply. And they want to know where he got it. But he disappeared and then they go try to find him. But they're being hunted too. So sounds really good. And then I got an arc of the A Circuit by Georgia Bloomberg and Katherine Hopka. Now, um, you don't really see too many horse books in the YA genre, at least I don't. So, but I read like what this book's about, and it sounds really great. So, and then I got an arc of All the Things You Are by Courtney Scheinmel, and I think I just their last name wrong too. But um, it looks really good. If you have Galley Grab, you probably have either read this or have it downloaded onto your computer or e reader. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an e reader, so I was going to read it on the computer. And now they have a physical copy. I don't have to strain my eyes to read this story, too. Because I have too many to read on the computer. And so I'm, I'm very glad to have a physical copy because I've been waiting to read this for a while. And this one comes out this month too, in a couple of days. Then I got This Dark and Deaver, The Apprenticeship of Victor Frankenstein by Kenneth Opal. And this is Austin Mark, and it doesn't come out till August. And the synopsis of this book sounds excellent. And look at the cover, it's amazing. It's a little keyhole with a man standing outside. Sounds so good. Please go mark this on your to read list. So yeah, you should read it. Then I got, this is the last book in, that came in the box, Orchards by Holly Thompson. Um, this, is, this will be, this came out this year also, but this will probably be a, a very quick read because it's written all in verse. And I love, I love um, books in verse because then if I have a big, I always have big to do to read list, but it just makes my it just makes reading quicker when it, books are written in verse. So, and then I just got some books from the library today, and I got the Instro the extraordinary secrets of April, May, and June by Robin Benway, and this is the author of Audrey Wait, which I read a year or two ago, and it is such a good book. So I'm hoping this is as good as the other one. And I'm excited to read that. And then um, a book that all bloggers have been raving about. I got The Adoration of Jenna Fox. And I don't really like this cover. They came out with a new, like a newer cover. I don't know if it's for paperback. But, um, yeah. And I'm excited to read this one. This is by um, Mary E. e. Pearson. And I wanted to read this and get this before the second book comes out, which I think comes out sometime at the end of this year soon. And then I got The Big Crunch by Pete Hotman. And I heard nothing whatsoever about this. I never seen it on Goodreads. I never seen it anywhere. I just saw it on the shelf. And I'm like, oh, this looks kind of good. Um, but basically, when I was reading the jacket cover, it said that this is not a love story, but it is a love story. It's confusing. I'm confused. So I hope I like it. And then I got The Mermaid's Mirror by L.K. Madigan. And I've heard a little bit about this book, but I hope it's good. I mean, the cover is really, on oh, square. The cover is really beautiful. So. And then the last book I got is 
Those That Wake by Jesse Carp. And this, I don't know if it's a, a dystopian or not, but basically these two teenagers, Mal and Laura, um, both, they never met each other before. They don't, uh, well, they do meet up once when something tragic happens, which their parents and all their relatives and everyone that knows them, their memories are completely erased of the two teenagers. So no one knows who they are. And it's quite sad because their parents don't even know who their own children are anymore. Um, so I'm hoping that I really like this book because it sounds interesting and totally sad. So we'll see how this book goes. Um, oh, one more thing. I got this button from um, if you filled up this form for the Dead Rules. Dead Rules form. I don't know if it was like a contest or whatever, but uh, Dead Rules by Randy Russell is coming out soon. And so they're just giving away buttons, and this is the button that I got. And there's a whole bunch, sorry, my hands are not steady at all, but there's a whole bunch of buttons that you can choose from, and I chose this one, I don't know why. That would be funny, because if I put it on my back or something, someone's going to comment on it, I just know it. And you're like, what? I don't know, then I get to explain it to him. Oh, I'm such a book nerd. So anyways, so that's it, that's what I got this week. Um, tell me what you got in your mailbox, and uh, leave the link below in the comments, and I'll check it out. See you next week.